<clears throat> hey, good morning, everybody. And um, I started a little bit early <clears throat> on gold and uh, picked up a really nice trade to the long side. So um, I started off uh, up 450 on gold. Uh, let me just make sure you could see my screen and hear my voice. <clears throat> and we're going to do uh, something a little different today. I normally listen, I'm ultra conservative. Um, but today we're going to uh, try, I got an account with the 80% off sale. And <clears throat> we're going to see if we can get that account to get a winner and get a one-day uh, pass. Good morning, good morning. Anybody out there? Let me check with... Uh, Oh, okay, Toby. Thank you. Good morning. All right. Let's get started real quick. Let me just uh, do a disclaimer. Uh, this presentation is really just for educational and demonstration purposes only. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. If you're not familiar with the risks associated with trading, we do recommend consulting with a licensed financial advisor. <clears throat> so what I was going to do is um, for the 930 sweet spot, um, I got this account yesterday and I'm going to put it on this two minute signal a AI drone and what I've done is in my settings um, I've put the time for 930 right at the market open and um, I've got it on that account <clears throat> um, that I just started yesterday um, it's a fifty thousand dollar account with apex and it's on our NQ two minute and um, We'll go ahead and enable that. So that'll start trading right at 930. Um, and I showed you yesterday um, how the reason why I selected to start at 930. Um, historically, at that time of the day, this strategy does extremely well. Uh, so, so far, you can see my results for the day for the morning session. Um, I turned it on about 830. Uh, gold took off, uh, got me this trade for 450, um, and then the Russell's at 298 and 157. Uh, the Nasdaq 30 range is on the board with the Haymaker, um, and crude oil looks like it got a um, a small winner as well. So that's where we're standing right now, <clears throat> and the retirement plan is actually in a in a trade now, but that's on the. Um, Oh, and what I was going to do, I'm sorry, is I was going to increase the lot size. Um, since we're going for $3,000, um, this strategy, a full winner on this, would be 200 ticks or $1,000. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on three contracts, and um, one winner uh, would, a f one full winner would put me right around $3,000. Um, make it 201 ticks. Uh, to cover the commissions. And the only reason I'm doing this is um, it's a, it was a $30, $30 to sign up for the Apex account yesterday. So my, my downside is I lose $30 and I blow out the account. Um, my upside is is a lot bigger, you know. It's it's not a bad risk to reward. Um, if I do get the winning trade and I get qualified, well, now I'm in, you know, in the game with where I can get actual payouts. Um, it's it's really not a sustainable strategy what I'm doing today, and I think that's important to understand. Um, and if it was my live account, I would never do it. Um, this is more of a prop trading strategy to get qualified in one day. 
Um, it's not a sustainable strategy that I can expect to consistently get payouts on a regular basis. Um, I'd wind up blowing out you know, several accounts consistently. So normally my strategy is um, is very conservative. It's if I make 500, um, I'm satisfied. If I lose 500, I stop trading for the day. Yeah, get with Charles, uh, Toby. He'll get that configured for you really quickly. <clears throat> So the opening bell is in about three minutes. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind being in that short position that this uh, SIM account is on right now. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hope everybody has a blessed day. Let's enjoy the trades. I'm running the um, I'm running the two minute signal A on the Nasdaq, <clears throat> and um, I've got it timed out to where it it won't start trading until nine thirty. Um, I found yesterday that that window between 9.30 and about 10 is, is uh, I called it yesterday peak season. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's our sweet spot as far as our equity, you know, our profits. Uh, with Ninja Trader, we're able to distinguish what half hour, by, break it down by half hour of the day. What are the most profitable times to trade that strategy? <clears throat> And um, <clears throat> it's in this short position now. Um, I was hoping it would kind of pop up and the RSI line would come back above, but we'll see what happens. So one full winner um, on the first trade would, would, would get us there. Um, I added a, a tick for the commissions, and that's you know if we get no slippage. There we go. There's the opening bell. We have the 30 range in and the 2 minute in. This one here could go all the way, let me tell you. Uh, it's flying to the downside. Good morning, Charlie.
big short move on the NASDAQ at the open. And um, our NASDAQ strategies were just all over it. <clears throat> This could have very well, this could have been the big trade, let me tell you. I was just a few minutes off on this one. But that's trading. The haymaker hit. The haymaker hit it. If, if it takes a long bounce, here we go. Let me straighten out the uh, the down diamond. this bounces to the upside, um, it could put me in a long trade on this two-minute on that Apex account. Might just pop me in long. Let's go over to eight. going down so I'm on the the two minute retirement two minute signal a AI drone Some heavy volume on the NASDAQ. Uh, we're just under 3,000 contracts a minute. Let's keep, let's keep our eye on this AI drone. So our entry on this trade is going to be when this uh, RSI line in my Laguerre oscillator crosses this 20% line and starts heading back up. I'm a little, you know, nervous about getting into a long position on this big down move, but <clears throat> we're going to take our own opinions and biases um, and toss them out the window and let the system trade it. The 30 range RSI popped up a long time ago. Uh, you can see it popped lo long here. And I think our two minute is very close.
<clears throat> it is drifting up on us. Signal B AI drone. Here it comes. Just about there. Just went. All right, so we're in the trade now to the long side. And we'll see how this plays out. So we got three contracts on this trade. And the full winner will get us the uh, qualification on a $50,000 account. And we can give it a few tries. Could take the risk off the tray, but I'm not going to do that. Not yet. Hopefully, we uh, we get through these uh, areas of resistance. Right now, it's the moving averages. <clears throat> get a bigger picture of the overall market. been pretty flat pretty choppy to get a little breathing room here. Moving into some resistance here. Let's see if we can break right through these areas of resistance.
Okay, here we go. Got some legs here. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's go. Break right on through. Got a lot of sellers sitting right there. It's going to retest it. What do you think, Toby? What do you think? I could take the risk off now, but every time I move something, I mess it up. Come on, one more. That's it, push it up. Push it on up. <clears throat> we get through this area, we're gone. <laughs> I know. I know, Toby. Now we're trying to get a one and done here on, on the retirement plan. Broke through one area, and uh, we've got momentum here, pushing on, pushing our way. We got some wiggle room. Let's see if uh, we get a stiff breeze here, push us up through the top. now. Here we go, Toby. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm wondering why it was only 1960 though. Hold on. Where's my control center? I know I put three contracts on that thing. What happened? Huh. Now, I know I had three contracts on there. Uh, see, I have my three contracts, 200 ticks. So, a um, thousand times three. Hmm. Not quite sure what happened on that. Oh, it hit my. <laughs> You're not going to believe what happened. It hit my um, my session limit for the day and took me out of the trade. Uh, my session profit limit was at 2,000. So once it reached 2,000, it automatically exited the trade. Um, so that was my oversight. I didn't think of that. So in the strategy parameters, it has a feature um, that you could set your loss limit and your profit target. Uh, my profit target just so happened to be set at $2,000. And once it reached $2,000, um, you could see on my chart here um, that it closed. If I move this over a little bit, it closed for the long P&L target. Um, 
Oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, we. I didn't think of that, Toby. But listen, you can't be upset, you know, if you make $2,000 on a trade, right? Uh, well, I take that back. If it breaks through there and keeps going up, I will be kind of upset. <laughs> uh, you know, and I was uh, determined not to touch it. Look at that. Unreal. You know, that's really strange because um, I thought I had it on the drone. I do have it on the drone. Um, why it respected that profit target, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but it was a great trade. Uh, you can't, listen, again, I, I'm not going to be upset. You never lose money closing $2,000 winners. Uh, so it was a great trade. Um, good morning, Rao. Good morning. So the Apex accounts are up big. Um, 1960 on one and 450 on the other. We're still in the trade on this two minute. Let's see what would have happened on the two minute AI bot. I, I got a feeling it would have went all the way. Yep. It just hit the profit target. So well, there you have it. Um, that's what's so exciting about this system. Let me tell you, you can uh, just one trade is all it takes, and uh, this this system has the power to to simultaneously trade six instruments and get you into these you know big winners. Uh, thank you. It was a great trade. It, um, I kind of went for the gusto today um, outside of my comfort zone. And um, even though it closed early, I'm going to call it a victory. Let's see. This retirement plan is still in the trade. This might be where I was here. So all the NASDAQ strategies um, lit it up this morning. Um, if you've got our system, uh, we've been talking about those NASDAQs every day. And today it just uh, got the job done. Um, I'm not going to continue with the 1960. I, I'd be sick if I gave it back. So I'm going to keep that 1960. And we'll try to... Uh, tomorrow's Good Friday. And um, if you celebrate, uh, happy Good Friday. We have Easter weekend. Amen. As for me and my family, we celebrate. We'll be making some Easter eggs and hiding them around the, the yard. So the NASDAQ opening up uh, went straight down. You saw that huge candle down. And uh, my, my instinct was, I hope I don't get into a long trade. You know, and that just shows that, you know, our own biases and opinions are, are just completely worthless. Um, what we think, do the opposite. That's what the system did to this morning. Um, it doesn't have any opinion or bias. When everything aligns, it gets in.
Yes, sir. Happy Easter, Toby. So the stock market is closed for Good Friday. So um, let me just confirm that. I'm 99% sure. So our office is oops, our office is also closed. Um, now, if this retirement plan hits, then I know that there was it was absolutely a full winner. And I think it was already, but I'm not sure. Did yours go all the way, Toby? Or Mark? That uh, as Signal A AI drone. Oh, uh, it's okay. I think mine is actually still in the trade too on the SIM account. So it's not there yet, but it's close. Almost, okay. It's not there yet. One good stiff breeze and it's there. Now we're catching a little heat on it. Let me try to stretch this out just a little bit for us. YM is very consistent. That YM is uh, trading away. Uh, signal A, AI drone. Getting some heat now. Hitting that profit target could have been my saving grace. This is the last day of trading before 
a long holiday weekend here. There go the uh, the institutional money just jumped in. Uh, you can see that volume just start motoring. And uh, they're just pushing the price of the NASDAQ higher. They're not letting it drop. Got a good stiff breeze right there. Volumes really cranking. Uh, this is the trading environment that we like. The system really thrives on that. Good volatility, high, high volume, good follow through. It's retesting that area it's bounced off of now. Let's see if it can push all the way. Well, it's turning into a, a, a nail biter. Uh, it's not just futures traders that struggle with, you know, when to close a winning trade. It's it's any instrument you trade. It's just part of trading. Uh, somebody sent a question in yesterday about an options position uh, that Mark had closed. He said, why did you close it? You know, it would have gone on to be even a bigger winner. And uh, Mark's answer was, <laughs> I read it, he wrote him that uh, you'll never, it's never a bad thing to close a winning trade. So we're not going to be able to pick the the, the high of, of the market. It's impossible to try to determine... Uh, the high and the low. Uh, but if we get the meat of it, uh, we're going to be all the better for it. So um, if you do close a trade, a uh, winning trade a little early, I I don't think it's worth beating yourself up over. You know, God only knows where the, the market's going to reverse. Uh, but with the automated system, it kind of takes the guesswork out of it. Um all you really need to do is sit on your hands. All I need to do, uh, let me put myself in the first person because I'm the biggest um, culprit when it comes to getting in the way. And this trade is just another perfect example um, if it goes on to hit the profit target um, of letting these trades run, letting your winners run. <clears throat>
retesting, retesting. Um, they consider a pivot or an area of resistance broke when three quarters of the candle makes its way through it. Um, we didn't quite get there on that push up. I see the Russell just jumped in long. And the Dow is in. It looks like the Dow jumped in on the uh, Signal A AI bot. I'm kind of relieved. I got to be honest. Uh, I'm I'm kind of relieved that I got out with the 2000 because I think I would have had a heart attack by now. See what other trades we're in. Uh, yeah, we're in that Dow Haymaker. It's all over the Nasdaq. They're, they're, uh, the YM is in some trades. Um, but our big winners uh, so far have been the Nasdaq. That signal A AI bot. Now its profit target was adjusted. <clears throat> if you notice, that two minute signal A AI bot gets its information from the drone. And dynamically during the trading session, it's gonna move the profit targets um, in the range of that the drone is feeding it to go to. So that's what happened here with the bot. Uh, the profit target was moved in based on the range of the market and it hit its full winner and the drone is um, continuing to kind of fly around out there learning what the market conditions are so it can make our bot that much more profitable. So uh, the drone is going to come back it looks like. Uh, very close to stopping us out on the drone where that bot, uh, you can see my bot right here, the second one down, has been out of the trade with an $1,100 profit. So the that artificial intelligence, that AI component has worked very well for this uh, this move to the upside. So it came all the way back down. Um, <clears throat> the AI bot, though, if I go to that two-minute AI bot, which is really the ones that we want to trade, um, it got the long profit target up here. Um, and it actually took a short entry that got wicked out right here. But that same exact trade that the drone was still in, um, our bot found its profit target because of this, the self-adjusting stops and profit targets. Um, 
It takes, it takes your system a, a little while to accumulate the data to do that, maybe a, a session or two. But once it does run for a session or two, um, they, the stop and profit targets will change dynamically based on market conditions. Um, and that's a perfect illustration um, of how this system works. Let's see what open positions we're in. We're in a big open position still on the NASDAQ on those uh, 30 range. Uh, they all jumped in short. That 30 range moves a lot quicker than the two minute for obvious reasons. The data series on the 30 range, if, if I go to this uh, this haymaker strategy, It's the haymaker. You can see it jumped in. It gets into the trades a little quicker than the two minute. I think the two minutes a little more conservative. Um, the 30 range is very fast on the NASDAQ. Um, if you're a discretionary trader or if you use our automated strategies, it's a great a great strategy. It, uh, we call it the haymaker because it, uh, it could deliver a, the one-punch knockout and uh, put enough money in your account to put you on the sideline for the day. So each one of our bots, and I know that we've mentioned it before, but each one of our bots runs simultaneously with a drone. And the logic is the two are in a closed loop system that share data. Uh, they look at the maximum forward excursion and the maximum adverse excursion. Um, or to put it in simple terms, the range of the market. Um, where's the most ideal place to put my stop and profit targets to where I'll make the most money. <clears throat> and this system does it in milliseconds. It's uh, really great technology. Uh, the bots are the ones that are leveraging that technology. This Haymaker uh, strategy that I'm showing now doesn't use it. It's just a regular automated strategy. But the NQ30R Signal A AI bot is using that technology. It's really great volatility today. We've seen big moves up and down. <clears throat> Got a trade on the YM. The ES is short. And you can see our top strategy it, uh, was the two minute NASDAQ signal A. A 
In fact, I'm going to be doing a presentation today at uh, 3.45. Um, that's go going to go into a little more depth about the technology behind the AI Auto Trader, um, some of our recent results, and the live Q&A. And I wanted to invite everybody to join me. Um, it's going to be today at 3.45. I'm going to be on Trader's Corner. And I'll put a registration link in the chat box. I'd love to have you um, come join me. And I'm going to go over the results, answer questions, and do a little bit of a, a deeper explanation of how the strategy works. Let me see if I can find that link for you. So what is very exciting uh, day today? Um, it. The system really put put me on the sideline pretty quick. Um, I put five hundred dollars in one Apex account on gold, and um, about two thousand on the other Apex account, trading the Nasdaq two minute. And the haymaker is uh, fighting to get down to that full winner. It's my baby, my daughter and my wife. I've got a one-year-old, and uh, she's developing this personality that's just, <laughs> she's hysterical. Um... Yeah, I want to give you the re the registration link for. Um, it's an investor summit. There's a number of different other presenters that'll be on Traders Corner. I'm I'm actually going last at 3:45. So make sure you come in, jump in at 3:45. Yeah, I tell you, Toby, what an adventure. Family is great. You're right. Um, looking forward to, to Easter and doing the Easter egg hunt and uh, going to church with my, my family. Um, no, fun blog. I'm just letting the bots trade. Uh, I'm doing no manual trading today. Um, once in a while, um, if I'm trading a... A funded account. I'll make a mistake and I'll and I'll move it manually. Um, out of you know human emotion will get in my way and and sabotage my trading. So I'm just letting the robots run, completely hands free, completely hands free. This is how they come out of the box. Um, I haven't really touched any of the the settings at all. And I'm going to be doing a a more in-depth presentation this afternoon that I'm putting the registration link in the chat box now. It's today at 3.45 Eastern Time. Even if you can't make it, still register because we automatically send you the replay. 
of the presentation. If you can make it, that's great because I'll be doing a live Q&A and we're going to have a very special offer uh, for the Easter holidays. Yeah, this is a fully automated system fund that will simultaneously, it's simultaneously trading all of the index equities, the Dow, NASDAQ, S&P 500, the ES, and the Russell. And it also trades gold and crude oil. And we have a couple of different triggers for our entries, a number of different conditions that must be met. And a fast-moving market, it never makes a mistake. Um, it has a AI component integrated into it. The big, biggest knock on automated strategies, and I'm going to talk about this uh, this afternoon, is as market conditions change, they fail. Uh, the the inputs just don't work for all this, the the market conditions. Uh, it's a very news driven market. Um, in any one moment, um, it could you know, turned into a, a trending, uh, I'm sorry, a choppy ranging market into a, a huge trend. Uh, so this system will automatically, dynamically, interest session, without making any adjustments manually, it will self-adjust its profits and targets, its profit targets and stop loss based on the market conditions. Um, the haymaker is coming very close to coming back down. It's been kind of dancing on our profit target. And, you know, when it comes that close, you know, there's an old saying, don't be a you-know-what for a tick. Um, you know, if it comes that close, I think to close the trade, Daniel passed his prop trading account today. Okay, Daniel. Yes, are you kidding me? I missed it. Oh my God, you just made my day, Mark. I didn't see it. Daniel, congratulations, my friend. Daniel's a great guy. Uh, him, and, him and his wife, Ola. And Tolu. So happy to hear about Daniel. Great job, Daniel. Congratulations. So it's coming back down. It's dancing on our profit target. Um, Just need one little breeze to push it back down and make it, making us sweat it out. Uh, Daniel passed his eve out today. If an opposite cross appears, what action, if any, do you take? The indicators are really uh, the indicators on my charts are really just for our own personal reference. Um, the strategy itself doesn't doesn't really look at the chart at all. Uh, the strategy is not pinned to my chart. But to answer your question directly, I, I don't do anything. Um, the minute I do something, I make a mistake, Walter. Um, I kind of let the system be. Um, but the cross does signify that all of the conditions to trigger an entry, um, it, it could be an exit signal. You could use it as an ex exit signal. Um, but it's a, 
what the what it, the crosses are telling you is that all of the conditions have been met for the strategy to enter a trade if it's enabled. I'm not saying it will enter a trade unless your strategy is enabled. But if you're currently in a position, it's going to completely ignore it because you're already in a position and you can only obviously be in one position at, at a time with this on one strategy. Oh, I'm so happy, Tolu. Yes. I you have no idea. When I read that and Mark wrote what Mark wrote, I'd whew, just pure joy. Those are my Nigerian friends. Um, our banks, the in our Discord chat group, there's a master spreadsheet. Um, or you can always get with Charles. Um, but if you look at that master spreadsheet, it'll show you all the parameters of the bot. And you could build and save your own. Um, you could start with the drone and just make a couple adjustments and then save the bot for that drone. Um, if you book an appointment with Charles, he could show you in just a few minutes. It's very quick, simple, and easy. So we're in this big position on the NASDAQ. Uh, the YM is in a uh, short position as well. Uh, the ES and gold are also in winning positions. So the system's really hitting on all cylinders right now. Uh, great day for trading uh, on the AI Auto Trader. Oh, now I see your message. Tolu. Daniel, I see your message, Daniel. I I missed it because I was concentrating on the charts, but now I see it. I scrolled back. Okay, fun. If using a VPS, I should be able to run six charts like you with the bot. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we 
you know, we, we run this system on several different machines. Um, we have a few different servers, and all of our staff runs it on their computers. Um, but it runs really well on a VPS, especially if you're in a, a remote area that has a weak Wi-Fi signal or might break in and out. VPS would be a good idea. Um, but if you have a good, strong Wi-Fi signal where you live, there's really no need for one. <clears throat> now, Daniel, which strategy, which strategy did Daniel use? I know he loves that retirement plan. Did he uh, pass his eval on using the NASDAQ 2-Minute? How did he do it? Inquiring minds want to know, how did Daniel pass his eval? What strategy did he use? Please tell Daniel not to take another trade with that account. Please. And there's there's some history behind that comment because Ola, his wife, passed the evaluation but um, accidentally took another trade and unpassed the evaluation. So it's really important if you do hit the your um, on these prop accounts, if you pass the evaluation and you go over the top, do not take another trade for the love of God. Uh, you can only only lose at that point um, because the best you could do on an eval is pass it. Um, and once you've passed it, you can't do any better than that. So to continue with it, only bad things can happen at that point. Okay, the NQ30 range, uh, signal A, that's our haymaker strategy. So Daniel passed his eval trading the haymaker. Trading the haymaker. Congratulations, Daniel. Yes. We've been in this uh, position for a pretty long time, and very quietly the Dow up top here um, has been working its way down to the profit target. Dow has been a really pleasant surprise in our uh, portfolio of strategies. Hey, David. Good to see you, my friend. You've been very quiet. No, you need to enable them. It's, it's not too late. Enable them now. <clears throat> well, really, this is a, a great, great hour for this system. That 9.30 to 10.30 window, um, in most cases... Probably 99 out of 100 days gives us uh, just what we need to to hit our profit target.
Yes, congratulations. Now we need Ola to pass hers. They've got a blessed family. Kids getting ready to go to school and they're using this to uh, supplement their income. Trading with the AI Auto and uh, leveraging these prop accounts. Um, Ola's trading a live account and prop accounts, and Daniel's trading prop accounts, and uh, they just uh, hit a major milestone on their trading journey, and I'm uh, very happy and excited for you. Uh, this was a heartbreaker of a trade here. Uh, to see it come that close, that hurts. Uh, you can see here, when it comes within a tick, um, where you can give back all of that, um, you know, there's an old saying, and I don't want to use any type of profanity, but the old saying is, don't be a blank over a tick. Um, if you're just within a tick of your profit target, um, don't let it get away from you. You don't see it happen often, but once in a while it will. David L. David L. has been um, a member with Rightline for years and years, and he's uh, really a valuable member of our trading family. He's given us. Uh, I always we always talk about our members, um, you know, sharing some of the most valuable information with us, and he's one of those. Uh, gave us some great ideas with the momentum based trailing stop and a number of other different things and he's always showing us new stuff that that he learns on his journey and he's just a great great member of our trading family that really is a, an, an incredible contributor ton of experience in trading and he was he's going to show me uh, something he's been working on with bonds that I'm really interested to see So the Russell and the Dow are in. The NASDAQ, we've we've been watching this trade for a while. It's it's turned into a real nail biter. What's that, Toby? Oh, you love trading bonds as well? 
Yeah, the David uh, David Lemons is uh, was just telling me yesterday he's got a really interesting strategy, really profitable one. <clears throat> Here it comes back down. Let's see if we can get the prize. We're just coming to the end of March, and uh, spring is here. And the first quarter of the year is over. Incredible. Just about over. The days are long, and the years are very short. Real exciting day trading today. If you'll excuse me for just a moment, I'm going to uh, use the restroom. Uh, we're going to probably end a little early, probably right around 11.15. We'll go over the top strategies of the day and do a little bit of a recap. Uh, this is going to be our last trading day, obviously, for this week. <clears throat> So the stock market is closed tomorrow for Good Friday. And Mark Miller, who's the owner of Right Line Trading, he said if the stock market's closed, you you got the day off. Uh, thank you, Mark. Well, this is coming dangerously close again to our stop.
And we run this strategy completely hands-free. Um, we don't touch it. And uh, the system will optimize itself. All right, let me run to the restroom. Excuse me for just a moment.
Okay, I'm back. Still in the trade. Holy moly. I got 450 on an Apex account on gold. <clears throat> no, the trading's not closed yet, no. Um, we're in a position on our, I was just going to show our, our bot on the signal B. I had to use the restroom. <laughs> okay. I stepped away for just a moment. Uh, but the, the trading is very much still alive. So we're in a position on gold, we're in a position on the Russell, the Dow, and the NASDAQ. So, you know, this is this uh, AI auto trader, which is trade is working well. Well, the, um, the one that our leaderboard is what we refer to it as, um, has the NASDAQ two minute. Um, I made that 1960 on that strategy. Uh, that two minute on the NASDAQ um, did extremely well. Uh, the Haymaker on the 30 range, uh, that's the one Daniel got, uh, traded his prop account and, and passed his um, evaluation. And then we have the Russell on a 15 range that's uh, on our leaderboard. We have the Dow, uh, which is green. And we also have... Uh, I know gold is green as well because I made 450 on gold this morning. So that's our leaderboard, RK. And what we do is once a week, um, if you're a member of ours, we have a great uh, community of traders that are all trading the system. And there's a real advantage to being part of a community. There's always power in numbers and learning what's working for other people and sometimes more important, what's not working. Um, you're going to get that information, that extremely valuable information. Um, I love learning off of other people's mistakes. <laughs> i got to be honest. I make enough of my own. If I could learn something on your mistake, it, I, I, I consider myself blessed. <laughs> uh, but what I was going to tell you before I went off on the tangent there is... Once a week in our Discord chat, every Friday, <clears throat> we put our top strategies for the week and we let our members know which ones on our computers did the best. Um, and, our, and our other members in our community, they're on a daily basis. We have a channel in our Discord chat that they share their um, daily results. But to, to answer your question, uh, the NASDAQ, I think, is our, you know, comes out on top almost every week. The, the system really trades the NASDAQ well. I'll be meeting with Mark and the team this afternoon to, to go over which ones are doing the best uh, this week. I took a nice uh, long weekend in Fort Myers Beach, so I uh, there was a day or two that I didn't trade.
But uh, we have this um, long weekend coming up, and historically, um, before these long weekends, volume seems to wane kind of early in the afternoon. Yes, you get Discord as soon as you sign up. Um, you get instant access to the trading system, to the Discord chat group. And uh, you'll be a, a member here that can access YouTube Live Unlimited. You get unlimited access. We trade the system. And let me, um, let me tell you what my experience is. 99% of the, the vendors that sell automation, they do not trade it live. You, your only way to see whether it works or not is to buy it and to dive in head first. Um, Mark Miller, who's the owner of Right Line Trading, uh, is really a breath of fresh air in this niche, this industry. Uh, complete transparency and integrity. Um, we show the system. If the system has a bad day, it's, it's like a pimple on the end of our nose. You, you can't hide from it. Um, but you see exactly what you're getting um, before you pull the trigger and come aboard. And let me tell you something, this is the most powerful automated strategy out there. So to answer your question, you will have an instant access to our Discord chat group. And um, our Discord chat group is really a, um, I'll, I'll pull it over here in just a second. Um, we have some really great uh, channels that are part of the server. Um, whether you're a prop trader or you're trading a live account, um, we have a members in our community that you'll be able to get very valuable information from. So this NASDAQ trade um, has kind of kissed our profit target and kissed our stop, but continues to trade. So um, it's been a real nail biter. And the wind is just kind of blowing it around a little bit here. It doesn't seem to have a clear direction, but we're, <laughs> we're just a few ticks out of its range here on both sides. Uh, worst case scenario is we make, a uh, what is it, uh, 11 ticks on the trade. Worst case scenario, we make One of our new members, Isaac, um, <clears throat> trades micros, and uh, man, he's built a uh, he got a made a hundred percent on his account in the first week or two. Uh, he turned five hundred into a thousand trading this AI auto on micros. So uh, that's that's a great job. Give me a call, RK. Let, let me go over it. Let me go over your system with you. Something's wrong. Something's not quite right. I'm trying to think of my calendar today. Um, Kind of a tough day today. Um, maybe later on this afternoon, but I really want to get with you and get this straightened out.
what's your um what time is good uh call the office are is five thirty too late for you around five o'clock maybe five or five thirty anytime after five between five and six six um i'm gonna try to uh to get out of the office here. Oh, okay. Perfect. Give me a call. 5 p.m., okay. Yeah, let me get on your screen with any desk and um, let me go through your, your trade performance and your strategies. Market's kind of going, the NASDAQ's kind of going sideways on us right now. Let's see what uh, positions we're in. NASDAQ gold, we're still in that nice gold position, pushing higher. It's amazing that gold is at 22.35 an ounce. Absolutely amazing. Crude oil is in a big trade. Let's take a look at the crude trade. Okay, here we go. Let me try to give this one a sound effect to push it down. Maybe we get the profit police in. No, I won't be working tomorrow. Um, let me think of my schedule. Uh, what time are we going? Maybe, you know, maybe early in the morning tomorrow is even better. Uh, are you an early riser? Are you on the East Coast? East. Yeah, why don't you give me a call first thing in the morning, like at 8, 8 a.m., 8.30 a.m.? So we're in a number of great positions here. Uh, in about 10 minutes, we're going to call it a day. <clears throat> Okay, good. Eight, yeah. Okay, give me a call at 830. Call the office phone. Yes, it's perfect. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Tomorrow, 8.30. Looking forward to it. Well, this trade has kind of done the same thing to us here. It uh, came up and kissed our stop and then headed back down for the profit target. Perfect, David. Perfect. You can certainly do that, Walter. Sure. Um, sometimes I try to time it out. Um, you know, having a good understanding of what triggers the entries, and sometimes timing is everything. Uh, we don't want to overcomplicate it for people, but if you're able to do that, Yeah, Vince, we we actually do. We're if you go to our website, um we have a coupon code. The coupon code is lifetime. <clears throat> if you go to our um website, uh, I'll put a link in the chat box for you. We're actually running um for our I'll kind of, you know, let the the cat out of the bag here. It's it's a 50% off on lifetime licenses. Um, it's going to end Sunday, um, but right now is a great time to get in because it's 50% uh, discount. Um, if you use coupon code LIFETIME on our website for the AI Auto Trader, I'll put the link in the chat box for you. Some people just don't like subscriptions um, or recurring payments. Um, if you're one of those, then uh, we've got the perfect deal for you. Here, Vince, I'm going to put a link in for you right now. Um, if you go to that page there, um, you'll see there's a monthly, annual, and lifetime option. <clears throat> Use coupon code LIFETIME for 50% off the lifetime option. Ooh, here comes the YM. Right down. You know, we're going to trade for five more minutes, and um, and then we'll call it a day. <clears throat> Listen, if you're anything like me, and that's just a terrible discretionary trader, this system is a godsend. Let me tell you, it, it could totally change everything around for you.
Oh, man, look at that. That's a, man, that's been happening today. It's just uh, a tick from our profit target. Yeah, I read your question, Walter. Um, yes, I, I do know of some people that do a semi-automated approach. Yes. Absolutely. I, in fact, uh, I, I do something very similar to what you wrote. Okay, here we go with the NASDAQ. Come on down. We've been waiting on you. <clears throat> We've been waiting on you patiently. Haymakers in a big one. So we got our 30 range and our 2 minute. The 2 minute um, just took a long position. That RSI line popped up through the 20% and jumped in the trade long. So it's a bit of a ranging market right now. <clears throat> All right, so let's go over the uh, the trade that that we started with this morning. Um, what what we had done was we were going for <clears throat> a one day qualification on the Nasdaq two minute. Um, what we did was yesterday we we found out that we found a sweet spot um, for the month of March on our two-minute uh, strategy, and I'll, t I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, for the month of March, our two-minute signal A AI strategy. <clears throat> at 9.30 was just crushing it. It was up $3,000. So what that prompted us to do today was to take an evaluation account, <clears throat> um, which we did. Um, we put it on number eight. And right in our window... It did take that long entry. Um, we started it right at 9.30. And at 9.30, the market opened and was headed straight down. Um, but once it reversed and this RSI line <clears throat> on my oscillator crossed that 20% line right here, it jumped into the trade long. And um, and it rode it all the way up until it actually hit uh, my daily profit target of 2,000. Uh, my intention was to let it run um, until it got a full winner and, and it 
qualified us for the three thousand dollars on a on a fifty thousand dollar apex account so <clears throat> even though um we hit our profit target of two thousand um that shut us down for the day for that strategy so we didn't get qualified but we didn't lose we we got a two thousand dollar trade um uh, to start the day on that nasdaq two minute and um you could see our top strategies uh, for the day here. Um, we have that trade I just went over. Um, then our NASDAQ strategies really stood out. Our 30 range and our two-minute strategies were the big winners again. Um, the YM continued to be uh, consistent. And it looks like crude oil um, has a few in the, in the green as well. So those were our results for Thursday, March 28th. And um, before I discontinue, before I end the, 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 the live stream, I just wanted to again wish you and your families a, a blessed uh, and happy Easter, long holiday weekend. So with that being said, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back again on Monday. Monday, we're going to do it again. And uh, I hope you'll join me. Come check us out. We meet every, every day, Monday through Friday, God willing, uh, from 9.30 to 11.30, right here on YouTube Live. And we trade the AI Auto Trader. And uh, I hope you'll come back and see us. Have a great weekend, everybody. God bless. Bye-bye.